Hey guys, I'm Bez and welcome to your fifth Java Swing tutorial. Now in this video, you are going to learn about something really interesting that you will need a lot, which is Action Listener. Now an Action Listener is nothing but an event handler. So what's an event? Well, an event is nothing but a button click or you know, like choosing something from a combo box or checking a checkbox, clicking on a radio button. All these are different events. And something that listens to these events and then whenever these events occur they do some action are called event handlers and this action listener is also an event handler so here I have the same form from the last video but I have a simple label and a button now if I run it so this is my application right now if I click on this button then you can see that nothing really happens because there is no event handler set for this button now to simply add event handler or action listeners to any component in window builder what you do is you just double click on that component so here I double click on it and you see Eclipse has created an event handler so this is what happens it adds an action listener and within that it creates an anonymous class which implements the action listener interface and as it implements the action listener interface it has to override the action performed method now in this method whatever I write would happen if the button is clicked so what I want is as I said whenever I click this button this text has to change to something else so what is the variable name of this J label here you can see the jlabel variable name is label new label so I have to refer to this label using this variable name so I will just show you how you can do that so in source this is the label right and you can see hey you is the text of that label and now I will just change it so when I click this button this text will change into something else and you will do that by using the set text method and now let me just change the text to something else like you have clicked and if I save it and then I go to design now if I run it so here's my application that looks like nothing has changed right now if I click on this button then watch closely this text just changed right so this is what happened whenever I clicked on this button then this text was changed or updated into the text that I had later on specified which is you have well I have made some grammatical mistakes here but you get the logic right this is what happened so this is the concept of event handlers or mostly the action listener that you learned in this video now in the next video I would be applying this action listener to build a simple calculator and I hope by that you just get a much more better knowledge of action listeners so that's it for this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one